Do you find your kid is drifting away as they get older? Sometimes like a stranger just kind of lurking in your house. And now you're worried, how are you ever going to survive the teen years? For parents who are realizing they're losing touch with their child and finding themselves on the outside of their now older kids circle of trust, give me the next five minutes and I'll show you an approach I have used with my adopted son to build connection after he came into our home and to stay connected as he has grown through the teen years, something that you can use starting today. If you want my longer video on connection and my parenting method called Cubed that gets into how my clients and I maintain strong relationships with our kids, comment hashtag connection below and I'll get you the link to that video right away. My name is Matt Kenyon and I'm a family relationship coach. I'm also the owner at Free Thought Coaching where I help parents end the yelling, arguing and fighting and build happily integrated families. My promise is that there is always at least one piece of advice, tool, or trick that you can use at the end of each of my videos. All right, let's get into the approach I use to build and stay connected with my son as he has grown through the teen years so that you can use this tool to reconnect with your kid too. When they feel they're losing their little boy or girl, parent, many parents find themselves trying to force a connection with their growing teen, only to find they get rejected by their child. This causes them to lash out because, well, now the parent is hurting. Research shows that the rejection of a child activates the same pain centers in the brain as actual physical pain. It's no wonder that parents who feel rejected by their child lash out like hurt animals. The real unfortunate part is that the lashing out damages any existing connection and puts up a wall between you and your child that blocks any new connection and trust. Nobody is winning. And everybody is hurting. When I found myself in this situation, I knew I had to find some way to reconnect. I knew shared experiences and activities are a great connection tool, but I tried that and didn't have much success. Then I realized that I never asked my son what he wanted to do with me. I had only assumed that he was still interested in the same things, forgetting that he was now older. I realized that if I focused on things he wanted to do and made the choice to do those things with him, even if I didn't like it, he showed appreciation and actually wanted to connect with me. You see, as simple as it sounds, deciding to do things that your child wants to do especially if it's not your thing, can open doors that had seemed closed. You're making a sacrifice to provide them with what they want and making them the focus. The sacrifice shows that you want to connect with them and that it's not about the activity. It's about them. Sometimes this means watching a TV show that you don't particularly like at night on the couch with them or going to a concert for an artist or band that you may not care for. The trick is to not think about the activity, but about the time spent with your child. It's the nonverbal message of choosing them over the activity that makes them feel connected. Unfortunately, it's not just enough to be in a shared space, like sitting on the couch doing Candy Crush while your child watches TV. It must be a shared activity or experience. You need to be watching the same video and having some sort of interaction, even if it's nonverbal. Research from 2020 done by Wolf and Tamasello at Duke University shows us that being together does not have the same effect as doing actual shared experiences. It's very important that you show your child, tween, or teen that you want to be with them in experience with them in experience and not just in space. It's this intentional interaction involving a shared experience that leads to the connection, not the time spent together. This is literally an example of quality of time being better than quantity of time. All right, so now is when you get to be creative and curious. Be curious about your child's wants, desires, and interests to find things that you can do together. Then be creative in how you approach these opportunities in a way that shows your interest to them. For example, hey, Chris, 
I know you've been watching that new Netflix show. Would you be interested in watching a couple of episodes with me? I'd really like to spend some time with you. Or, hey, Amy, I know you've been listening to the latest Lizzo album a lot. She's coming to town next month. Would you like to go with me? I think it would be a lot of fun to go together and spend some time. Or whatever sounds like you that shows that you've been paying attention to them. You've discovered something that they liked. You've got interest in them. And you've offered an opportunity to do that thing. And most importantly, you've expressed your interest in spending time with them. The hard part is that you may get rejected, especially at the beginning the first time or two. You'll have to be okay with that. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Whatever the answer is, whether it's rejection or acceptance, you need to take that and accept that answer without judgment or retaliation or anger or frustration, especially if it's rejection with an attitude. In fact, your child may reject you just to, just to find out how serious you are about this new connection, this new approach. Don't be discouraged. Keep going and persevere. This is not about you. It's about your child and your relationship with your child. The more times you offer and the more you accept their rejections, the closer you get to a yes. You may have some success and then backslide and get rejected again. Stick with it. It's about progress, not perfection. If you'd like to see my longer video on connection and my parenting method called Cubed that shows how my clients and I maintain strong relationships with our kids as they get older, comment hashtag connection below and I'll get you that link ASAP. Thanks for watching. Happy parenting. Have a great day.